how your brain works is like, you know, there's five, this is its processing power. So at one point, it's got to fill in the gaps just like a micropixel of a photograph. You know, you got a 16-bit picture. It's made out of bigger squares. So all of the detail in between is kind of filled in by your brain. So meaning, wow, if, that's, that's if you don't know if something about. exists, if you don't know that it exists and you're not looking for it, and there you have no basis of comparison, your brain might just catalog it as a not important, and they'll fill in. that. that there's a show called Brain Games on uh -huh. television. You should check it out. How Your Brain Works is pretty crazy, but just well, know well, that, that it'll, it'll, it filters to, it out for you. That brings me to something. That's why awareness and enlightenment right. brings more vision. That, 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 I, that I've been dying to ask you the whole podcast, but we just now got on it. Sure. What I'm doing is, is I, I'm teaming up with this uh, this American Ghost Project, is what they're called. But I have a theory about ghosts. But I have had an experience where we were at my my, my friend Anthony Esposito's uh, studio, and there's a barn there, and there's like it's an old place, and other people were kind of doing this whole ghost hunt, and mm -hmm. I'm kind of being a wise ass and be like, hey, tell that, right, you know? right. and. You know, for whatever reason, they were getting flashlights to turn on and off on command by 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 things. You know, but I don't know if that was a conscious disembodied. I I don't know if I believe in a disembodied conscious thing that is like, well, I wake up. What does a ghost do when it wakes up in the morning? Does it wake up in the morning? Does it have a cup of coffee? How come all of a sudden it it, it is? You know, there there's just a lot. I I I believe that ghosts could be a. I believe that ghosts could be like, uh, just like when there's anything that traumatic or impactful in nature, it leaves a scar or echo. See, okay, and here I we believe, go. Because my that. my whole thing is the analog tape theory, and that is I believe that's more of a believable. That theory is the, when the creator when he put when he spun the the earth into action and the time machine. Because here we are. This right. is this is like a playback head. Right, this, so is, this, a playback. this is like a sync head right here for an analog machine. Me and you are in right exactly. now. Exactly. And sometimes when there's a murder or some tragic thing, the tape spikes. Yeah, it spikes and it so much so that it, it always sees that. And yeah. that, that's my thing. You and, know? and when people measure energy coming out print of through, us, print through. Yeah, print through. They, you know, you can tell when you create more energy. And there's this book called Celestine Prophecies, which is like a novel, but it's there's a really great thing that I learned from that book. And it was just Do you like... Know who wrote the book? You know who? Uh, Robert Redfield, I think, maybe. Okay. Something like that. Okay. But but the thing that I do believe now is that there, we, humans need two types of food, okay? Our physical aspect needs food as we know it to maintain our physical body so that our body can sustain our consciousness. But our consciousness also has to feed, but that feeds on energy. And energy is by interaction and blah, blah, blah. Right. And that triggers, you know, you know, a hunch is a non is a physical reaction to a non-physical thing, right? You get a hunch, you get a feeling physically, but there's no reason for that feeling other than, a, you know what I'm saying? So these things can kind of coexist. And I believe that that ghosts, uh, I, I've lost a lot of people that I, that, I, that I loved so much. And I wouldn't say I lost them. I mean, we are in different places. Right. But uh, I don't believe that there's that many people that have had so many attachments to humanity and people left here that there wouldn't be more success rate at, at them communicating or a will. I mean, if you want to go searching for shit with the pre-diagnosed intention that we're going to go ghost hunting, then you're hunting for a ghost, okay? But if you're going into something without anything, with no preconception, you could define that as something else. I would like to believe that there are if there's it's things as ghosts, I feel really bad, and that's why I want to do this for thing. And I, you know, I, I, for, I don't even know if that's that we should even be mentioning that on here. But but anyway, who cares? Uh, 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 that's uh, like when know. people are like, hey, don't listen to my new song; it hasn't been released yet. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, let me let me let me ask. You, but it's you only in, in search for truth. is so, really what we do. So uh, because I'm super curious about your your theory or theory point. on. Um, when we do dive, is there a possibility that these that there are really spirits running around? Well, let me That's ask the question. Me, I, I mean, I'm most curious because a mind is so well, weird. Well, then my question would be like, what what take this out of it? What would be the actual purpose? Because I believe that existence well, needs necessity. There has to be a necessity for something to exist 
of some sort, right? What if they feel like they didn't get through with what they were doing here on Earth? What? It's be like, oh, I didn't get a fair shot. Let me go back. Does that make it? It does. That's, yeah. I mean, okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? I don't I'm think. Just, I'm just curious, yo, man. I, I, I think that if we had a choice either. to not die, I don't think any of us would go willingly. You know, we just try to find things that are make us more more comfortable about it. But you well, know, you said a medium. So, so to me, a medium because we had this. A on medium the last is someone conference. who speaks to someone that's that's already that's passed. On, that's on the other side. That's only in the, basically. In, she says there is no death, and I and I believe. That you know, a lot of scientists say there is no such thing as time, and as we know it, is a kind of a human construct. You know, it's like, and I don't, that's probably the wrong word, but it's 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 our way of measuring this thing that happens. Right. But we don't know what time, life, space, universe, anything. We don't know shit, really. Basically, we know a couple of things. About we have a, theories. We know a couple of. Th- we're like no better than a squirrel trying to get a nut, but in a grander scale. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All we know is that if we do this, that sometimes happens. And, you know, and, and we're very species. But the evolution itself of instinct, right, is self-awareness. Right. Is, don't you think? Well, I totally If think. you keep on evolving, an instinct becomes so amazing that it becomes self-aware. You know you're alive. Now, the moment you know you're alive, is that the moment that you have a soul? Is the separation of human body a consciousness of is consciousness created in here, or is it something that is non-physical that it coexists with a physical? That I could believe a little bit more. That we're two separate type of things, just like there's a lot of species on Earth that that live with another species and are unaware really, but they need each other somehow to exist. Whether it's a dung bee or whatever the f- it is, I can't really name an example. But what if? What if there's two species, okay? There's the human species that is, uh, you know, it's got a brain capacity. It's, like, it's got all the things we need. Like, I'm going to get that car because it's got four by four. It's got a good intellect. You know, it's got hands and everything. It can do all the things we want it to do, right? right. right, right. And then there's a separate species, which is called the souls. And these are non-physical creatures that still retain consciousness and move in a non-physical space. But for them to be able to interact with physical space, they have to be symbiotic and attach themselves to a human or, you know, to a host, you know? What if you, who you believe and you look in the mirror, is, is, is you, is really you're just looking at the body that you're hosting, you know? Right. And that makes a little bit more sense because it does not make sense that we are born, we acquire knowledge, we acquire this whole ability, you know, you know, we're not in the survival mode here, you know, like we're, we're trying to find meanings of life, we're, it's, we're it's in more, strive mode, we're in like, what the f- is going on here, 